Enterprises today are well aware of the enormous potential of big data, but many continue to struggle with the organization, administration, and governance of their fast-growing and complex data sets. However, by implementing effective big data management strategies, private and public organizations can begin to contend with the terabytes and petabytes of data they have amassed, discovering key patterns and insights that will deliver that competitive edge they need to succeed. In this program, we'll hear about the skills, experience, and guidance you'll need to effectively manage big data in your organization. This report features expert Dan Seitzma, president of New York-based Melillo Consulting. Melillo specializes in infrastructure and data center solutions, IT management automation, application lifecycle management, project and portfolio management, and operational intelligence. There are several teaching points in this program. First, we'll discuss the benefits and challenges that big data initiatives bring to the enterprise table today. Next, we'll learn how investing in the right skills, experience, and guidance can help organizations make the most of their big data initiatives. We'll wrap up our report with best practices to help effectively manage and leverage big data in your organization. Now, let's begin our report. To gain insight about how IT and business leaders are thinking about the business value of their big data initiatives, let's consider the results of this recent survey by New Vantage Partners. In their fifth big data executive survey, New Vantage asked C-level executives from 50 different firms if, in fact, their big data investments were generating tangible, measurable business value for their organizations. Several of the key findings are summarized here as follows. 48% of the executives surveyed by New Vantage reported that their organizations have received measurable benefits from their big data initiatives. 80% of executives indicated that their big data investments were, in fact, successful. 21% of the survey participants went as far as saying their big data initiatives were disruptive or transformational for their firms. However, there were also some less than stellar news, with 53% of executives reporting that organizational impediments, such as lack of organizational alignment, lack of middle management adoption, and a lack of coherent data strategy, prevented the achievement of broad business adoption of big data initiatives. So, yes, some good news here, but certainly lots to do to improve the overall track record of big data initiatives in organizations today. With those survey results in mind, let's turn to our guest expert, Dan Seitzma, president of New York-based Melillo Consulting, and ask his perspectives on the critical nature of big data initiatives in organizations today. I believe it's the most uh, critical initiative that uh, customers have because it, it, it really does a few things. One, it can help identify new revenue streams for customers. Uh, two, it could definitely reduce the cost for customers in different, different areas, and three, it starts to really reduce the complexities that organizations have with data. Big data projects may be a normal part of doing business today, but they can be complex and quite challenging. We asked Dan Seitzma about common big data challenges. I think the biggest challenge is, is to make sure the uh, IT is in alignment with the, uh, the business owners of the project. You know, those two things really have to meld together in a unified way you know, to solve the issues. And when they become separate initiatives, uh, then there tends to be more complexities and, and, then, and the uh, projects have a, a good chance of failing. You know, examples could be like in the, uh, the marketing side of the organization that really wants to uh, harness uh, all the data that is coming into uh, websites and different sources of uh, information that they're just picking up from iPhones and information, and yet they're not taking the time to talk to the IT side of the organization and say, how do I store this data? How do I manipulate this data? How do I put the information together in a meaningful way that I can get good business results from it? So when uh, you know, I think it's really critical that the, you know, the business has to be aligned, you know, with IT, you know, to solve these issues because they're interrelated. The, they are IT issues, but they're also uh, business issues that need to be resolved. Seitzma added these thoughts about the importance of IT and business alignment. 
my experience based on the industry has been a, an age old challenge of you know the business needs and requirements you know run at a faster pace than IT organizations can provide those types of solutions and now business owners have uh, access to uh, tools and information that are cloud based and uh, they can take a step back and say is there a faster way for me to do this versus going through my internal IT organizations and where IT organizations now are stepping up are providing those solutions and really aligning with the business IT goals and making sure that they provide the infrastructure and support that they'll be successful. Survey data reveals that less than half of big data initiatives have achieved measurable results. Dan Seitzma offers insight as to why some big data projects may fail to achieve a successful outcome. So when the, uh, when the use cases are really aren't defined from a customer perspective, you know, with specific deliverables that they're trying to provide out of it, you know, then there's a lot of uh, finger pointing that happens at organizations and those projects tend to fail. Improving success rates of big data initiatives today may be one of IT's and businesses' greatest trials. We asked Seitzma if today's organizations are doing enough to master their big data challenges. One area that is really on top of CIO's minds and, and on the business mind is, you know, how do I really harness the big data that I have in my company? They, they really see the needs and the requirements for it. I mean, the data is coming from, you know, multiple sources, video data, internet of things. You know, they're overwhelmed by the amount of data, but at the same time, they're realizing if that data can be harnessed properly and I can reduce complexity, I can increase a revenue stream, I can, I can, uh, I can give some value back to my customers and my users in a much different way, uh, they really do want to proceed. So I think the awareness is really out there from customers at this standpoint is the good news is that we have the data and the challenge is, is how do we make that data work for our business. The research and advisory firm Forrester reports that organizations will increase their data by 50% this year and that overall corporate data will grow by an astounding 94%. In addition, Forrester research analysts anticipate that database systems will grow by 97% and that backups for disaster recovery and business continuity will expand by 89%. These numbers are indeed staggering and are indicative of the huge big data management challenges that companies are facing today. Now, let's return to our guest expert, Dan Seitzma, who offered his perspectives on how organizations can best capitalize on big data. I think it's, in a, and for me, it's in multiple areas that we're seeing it from customers. In the, uh, in the IoT area, we're, we're seeing that customers have just invested in a significant amount of tools over the years to manage and monitor their, their, uh, their environment. And uh, really what they're looking for is, how do we put all that data into, a, I wouldn't say a single plan of get glass, but in a way that we can really analyze the data in a much real-time ba basis and, and really um, and make better and quicker decisions to support the environment. I think in the area of security, you know, the same thing. You know, cus customers have invested significant amount of money in security tools. You know, it's not unusual to walk into any type of size customers and they could any, have anywhere from 20 to 50 different security tools helping them to keep their IT environment, uh, you know, secure from uh, threats. And again, you know, tools like Splunk really help to uh, digest all that information and provide, you know, provide clarity to what the data is really trying to provide to customers. Seitzma explained that organizations must have the right combination of skills, experience, and guidance in place to effectively manage their big data and big data initiatives. First, he spoke of the big data skills that are required. What we're seeing is you need that uh, good combination of strong technical skills where you really understand the IT requirements and at the same time blending that you know, with the business requirements. So you really need to uh, find individuals in the organizations or outside the organizations that can really step back and ask the proper questions to really understand what are the business issues that we're trying to resolve and then kind of correlate that back into the technical requirements on how to solve those, those business challenges. Finding individuals with sharp technical and business skills that are already in-house can be difficult, according to Seitzma. 
We asked how his clients were dealing with the situation. What we see a lot from customers is, uh, you know, they're so busy with the day-to-day -day activity of, you know, keeping their operations up and running and the multitude of projects that they have is, how do they find the time to invest in you know, new skills that are required, you know, especially in the area uh, of, of Splunk skills that are out there. So many times what they look for is uh, organizations such as Melillo Consulting you know, that have done multitudes of implementations for customers and they really want to tap into that experience base of have you done something similar for a customer of our size and complexity and can you bring those best practices and that knowledge to us and can you help us with the knowledge transfer to uh, make sure that it's implemented in our, in our organization. So, Building skills and uh, using outside skills is what we're seeing most organizations uh, leverage at this point. According to the MIT Sloan Management Review, 40% of companies surveyed were struggling to find and retain the data analytics talent. We asked our guest expert for his take on the big data talent shortage. I think if you, if, is there a shortage of talent uh, you know, with big data out there? I think in general that's been a trend over the years. I mean, the higher level data scientists, the folks that really understand quantitative analysis and data, you know, those people are, are there, but they're also at a premium and there's not enough in the industry at this standpoint. So I think you know, what has to happen now is that skill set has to really uh, become more prevalent in the organization. I think we're going to have a whole new generation in the, in the millennials right now that have grown up you know, with data being so prevalent and instantaneous analysis and instantaneous gratification of asking questions, finding answers to their questions, and the way that they're going to view data and how to make better decisions with data, I think is going to really make a, a, a big difference moving forward. For organizations that don't have the required big data skills in-house, we asked Dan Seitzma to offer some options. One, obviously you can go to uh, organizations that have those skill sets and have that experience with a multitude of customers and, uh, and, and work on uh, specific knowledge transfers as you're doing your, uh, doing your projects. Two, you could uh, you know, work with uh, organizations like Splunk that have very specific technical requirements and training and start to build out those skill sets yourself. And then three, you know, work with the universities. There's a, a lot, you know, we're seeing a lot of trends in the educational area where, you know, data, data analytics, big data, it's almost, it's becoming a, a skill set. I, I even believe there's organizations that offer uh, master degrees in these programs. I'm, I'm talking to my son who works for an advertising uh, organization and he's always analyzing big data all the time. And I'm like, Mark, you should really think about getting your masters on this because this is a skill set that's in demand. And folks, you know, a generation, your generation that really understands data and he happens to have really excellent communication skills so he can translate the data back to customers of what that data really means, I think is going to be invaluable not only today but in the future. Seitzma then talked about the experience needed to effectively manage big data. In fact, strong, experienced leaders who understand big data's potential and who will challenge the business are needed to drive successful projects. Listen, as our guest expert offered his thoughts on how experience and leadership can make all the difference when it comes to big data initiatives. You know, the big data initiatives are typically led at, a, uh, at an executive level, typically from a CIO or a high-level business owner. And the reason is, is if you're a CIO, you know, you're really focused on the overall operations of the business and making sure that you keep your organizations up and running effectively. You know, but at the same time, the business owners, the CFO, or the business, uh, you know, the, the business uh, owners that are out there are demanding more, you know, from the data. Not so much from the typical IT operations, but from the data that they're trying to harness. And, uh, you know, and that's where that blending at the executive level has to take place from a leadership perspective, where the CIO will like, acknowledge and become a partner with the business owners you know, to solve complex business issues. You know, we're working with uh, an organization in New York City, and they, uh, you know, they're very big on the uh, online uh, radio area, without mentioning the customer's name. And they just have huge challenges. They have all the data. I mean, they have millions and millions of subscribers, for example, on, uh, that have subscribed to their system. And they have all this data that comes in from a customer support issue. 
but yet they have no way to harness all that data to say, what are the trends? What problems keep on occurring over and over? How do we solve these things from a system perspective? And we, they want to do that because they want to offer a better customer experience and they want to offer higher levels of customer satisfaction so there's more loyalty to the, you know, to the product moving forward. Not all companies are going to have the ability to deal with managing big data projects on their own. Seitzma explained how businesses can benefit from supportive guidance as they work through the complexities of big data initiatives. And that's where organizations such as ours, Malilla Consulting, really, you know, really provides you know, extreme value to the customers because you know, we have the consulting services, we have the assessment methodologies to really make a difference for customers. I would highly encourage customers to uh, really do an assessment of what their requirements are from a big data perspective. You know, we, they have different terminologies or assessments or their health checks, but you know, really kind of getting into the roots of what your issues are and where they're coming from. And it's equally important is you know, what are the deliverables uh, that you're trying to get out of uh, what you're trying to accomplish from a big data standpoint. We really focus on the assessment methodology. You know, we don't go in with any perceived uh, uh, convictions of what a customer is required. You know, it's really taking the time to listen to the customers really understanding what some of their challenges are with big data, what they're trying to solve, you know, where those sources of data is coming from, you know, what's the complexity that they have now, and then really putting that methodology together to capture that information, really solve the uh, business issues and requirements that they have, and really work with the customer to define the deliverables for the project. Enterprises don't always know how to use their big data to make decisions and deliver business value. Part of the issue is that the data sets are so large and complex that it's impossible to process using traditional tools. We asked Seitzma about the tools that analyze big data. We're seeing customers as first they try to look at the traditional tool sets that they have and invested in because their partners are probably going to them and saying, we, we can solve the big data issues with the, th with the tools that you've already invested in. The reality is that customers move very quickly from that and they look for other tools that are available in the marketplace. And really we're seeing two things happening. Either a lot of customers are very adamant about going to open source because they think that gives them the best flexibility and the most options, which really means that they can do a lot of good customization and have more control. Or they're really moving towards uh, tools that are becoming the uh, standards in the marketplace such as Splunk because Splunk has just uh, taken off from uh, the number of users they have, the number of acceptance that's been in the marketplace, you know, from the Fortune 1000 down, the use cases that they have defined. So they quickly gravitate to either open source or I need to evaluate Splunk. In this report, we explored the complexities and challenges of managing big data in the enterprise. We learned that by investing in the right skills, experience, and guidance, organizations can make the most of their big data initiatives. Next, listen as guest expert Dan Seitzma offers best practices to help IT and business leaders effectively manage and leverage big data in their organizations. You know, first I think it's, uh, you know, that you know, that intersection of uh, business and uh, and IT organizations coming together to solve to solve issues, and the more forward organizations are now working that way. It, it's not just good enough to uh, run a good IT organization. It's you know you really have to provide that extra level of value that the you know that the business owners are really now pushing for. So a good best practice is really is having that you know that uh, intersection between the business owners and, and IT. Uh, another good uh, second good best practice is. Um, you know, really taking the time to uh, define your IT initiatives around big data, you know, really taking the time to put a thorough assessment together, understanding that where your data sources are coming from and understanding the business issues that you're trying to solve. And then three, really either working with a partner to really do a quick proof of concept to really prove out the, you know, the needs and the requirements and ensure that the long-term project's gonna be successful. Expert Dan Seitzma concluded the interview with these parting words of advice. A final advice and thoughts is, uh, you know, move forward with big data. As I said before, I've been uh, around the industry for a, lot, for a while now at this standpoint, and I've never seen the excitement level higher 
around uh, this technology and tools like Splunk that really help customers solve issues. It's almost, uh, it's very, very exciting, you know, to be in these environments with customers and users of this technology because they really know that they're making a difference. So I would say to folks out there listening is, make a difference, get involved with big data. That concludes our report, Managing Big Data in Your Organization. Skills, Experience, and Guidance. We'd like to thank Dan Seitzma, Vice President and General Manager of New York-based Melillo Consulting, for sharing his knowledge and expertise on this timely and important topic. This is Michael Quinlan reporting, and thanks for watching.